friends, welcome to the other 167. I am Jyoti and I bring you greetings in Jesus' name. The first city in the history of mankind was built by Cain. Today, the cities are drowned in sin because the foundation was laid by a sinner. Let us tune in to Dr. Mari Muthu, Director of YWAM Urban Ministries, Mumbai, to give us a deep insight about this. It's nice meeting you all. Welcome 167. My name is Muthu. I work with the Youth of the Mission in Mumbai, India. It's my privilege to share about uh, uh, you know, the cities. I've already told you about how cities play a major role in the Bible and in the world today. I'd like to turn our attention to the book of Genesis chapter 4 verse 17. There you read about Cain and you we will read you know in this verse how he gave birth to Enoch then Cain went and built a city and he named it after his son Enoch we know the history of humanity you know God created the first human beings Adam and Eve he placed them in the garden but because they disobeyed God they were sent out from the garden of Eden and you know, then, you know, Adam and Eve, they gave birth to two sons, Cain and Abel. Now Abel, he brought sacrifices to the Lord, the best one, and God accepted. But Cain, he didn't do that kind of, uh, you know, effort to bring the best. And so God rejected the offering. Then, you know, when you read in chapter 4, the sad thing happens. You know, the first murder takes place, Cain and you know, Abel, they were in the field and um, you know, Cain became very angry and killed his own brother. Then, you know, God called, where is your brother? Then, you know, because he committed this murder, God punished him. Then, you know, we read about him, Cain, he left from the presence of God. We read in verse 16. You know, Cain went out from the Lord's presence and lived in the land of Nod, east of Eden. You know, Cain, he left the presence of God. He moved away from God. Then he went and he built the first city. The first city, he named it after his son, Enoch. So, the, in the history of humanity, we know it was Cain who built the first city and the first city's name was Enoch. In this verse, you know, I like to talk about three important reality about the city. You know, how, you know, cities are real today. How the cities reflect, you know, the mind of Cain. How it affects, you know, what Cain has done it. You know, the foundation of city which was built by Cain was number one, it was sin. You know, it was a murderer who built the first city. So you see, the first city was done by with the shedding of an innocent blood. It was built by the brother's blood. So you see today when you look at the cities, you see a lot of sin. You see a lot of wickedness, a lot of problems in the cities. You know, compared to the rural places in the villages, you know, you will see a lot more bad things happening in the cities. A lot of horrible things you will see in the cities. Why? Because the foundation of the city was by a sinner. That's why you will see prostitution, drug addictions, alcoholism, and you know, gambling, you will see a lot of murder, a lot of bad things happening in the cities. So the first reality I like to tell today, it's the city's foundations are sin because the foundation were laid by the sinner. So that's why we need to work in the cities. We need to bring the light of Jesus. We need to cleanse our cities. We need to bring the blood of Jesus and cleanse every part of the cities and cities they really need the cleansing of Jesus 
we really need to bring Jesus so the light of Jesus can radiate and you know, take away the darkness in our cities. Thank you. May God bless you to equip you to go and bring the light of Jesus. Thank you Dr. Mari Muthu for sharing the word of God so wonderfully. If you like our videos, please feel free to share it with your family and friends. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon. You can also write to us on the below mentioned email ID and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you for joining us. God bless you. Have a great week ahead.